it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys, Craft Farms here, back with another video. Today we're starting a new series on County Line. Um, this is an edited version of this map. So, we're going to start off, I'll show you guys what I've done, what equipment we have, and then we'll work on some tillage stuff. Um, so... There was a field of barley right there and a field of soybeans right there. Um, I cultivated those under. And then there was a field of sorghum over there that I combined. And then a field of corn right here that I combined. Um, if we run behind the shop here, we can see um, 550,101 50, liters of corn. And then 25,296 liters of soybean or sorghum, excuse me. Didn't get a whole lot of that. Um, so now I'll just kind of run you through the equipment. So here we have the New Holland BB90 square baler, uh, John Deere 956 Moco, uh, John Deere DB60 corn planter, PJ Gooseneck uh, trailer, JM 375 seed tender. Uh, this is the Case 2330 Airseater. Um, right here we have the Challenger 680B um, header. This is the header for the 680B. I mean, uh, this is the Dynaflex Orbital Reel. And then if we open this door in here, we have some stuff. Uh, of course, I can't walk through that door right okay I guess we'll go over here then so here we have my fuel trailer um, we have two Mac vision grain trucks John Deere 8440 Brent 1396 grain cart um, and then the Challenger 680B with the uh, 12 row corn header and then if we go in the shop, uh, we have the New Holland 8970. Then in this section, we have the Homer Terados Beet Harvester. Here we have an Alice Chalmers 8030 two wheel drive. I'm going to get the duels in the weight off of this. Um, this is a model from Polygonish. I'd actually bought this to work on it. But I didn't do much with it. Actually, I didn't do anything with it. And then somebody I know, somebody in a group uh, of guys that I'm in, he in-gamed it. And this one, he did this one. And this one. So there's four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. And uh, this one had the weight and duels on it. And the other one had just the weight. And then I went and added the selectable duels and weights to both tractors. And then here we have the pressure washer and then the Chevy Silverado 3500 Dually. Uh, or this is the Duramax here. And then this has one of the dual anhydrous tanks on it. And over here we have the Challenger MT765E hooked to the, um, let's see, did I get the Blue Jet? Yes, I have the Blue Jet toolbar and then the other dual tank. So what we're going to be doing is applicating uh, as you can tell I'm not at home I actually just got back from the farm here a little bit ago so um, yeah so I don't have um, my steering wheel or anything like that but yeah so we're gonna work on putting some anhydrous down um, I grab my phone here I can tell you guys what fields I'm going to plant in what. Um, we own fields uh, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 20, and 22. 20 is a hay field, uh, which is why I have the hay equipment. We can make some bales to sell or in the future 
get some beef and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 11 and 12 are going to be sorghum. 13 and 22 soybeans. 15 and 16 sunflowers. And then 17, um, which I have to buy yet, uh, is going to be oats. I haven't washed up and or put away the harvest equipment yet. Uh, I'll do that here fairly soon. Um, this map does have soil mod on it, but I'm not using it. Uh, I want to just take a break from soil mod for a while. And, uh, and then just a heads up, this is going to be replacing the Clover Creek series. Uh, I'm just kind of getting sick of Clover Creek. Um, so I'm just going to play on here for a while now instead. Um, so I'm going to actually tone this back a little bit. I was kind of running fast. Yeah, just putting down some anhydrous on here. Uh, gonna go and put it on all the fields. I did have a John Deere 2623 cultivator, um, but all of the planters that I have have the capability to cultivate and seed, so figured I'd just get rid of it. It's one step that I don't really need to do right now, so um, besides this, cultivates a lot too, so. And this is the way of fertilizing that we'll have for now until we buy a sprayer. Um, I do have $800,000. Uh, and actually what we're going to do here, we're going to buy that field before I forget. 17, so 9,000. Um, I don't have any loan. I paid all that off so um, yeah so we can use the money to buy some other stuff that you know if we need it um, a lot of it's gonna go into seed and all that stuff as well so As you can see, I did one pass along here, um, along that side where the fence is. Really not doing this field in any kind of order. Just kind of cultivating it. Hmm, I don't know why I'm only maxed out at 20. higher than 20 frames and I don't know why there it goes a little bit so we'll switch to the tool camera here on this um, here on the toolbar so we're starting to empty out this tank finally this tank has done all of what's here I haven't had to refill it yet 
it's nice to have the double tanks now finally um, for a while there the only ones that worked were single tanks and those held a lot less and so you had to fill those more but yeah so um, I was with my dad this weekend and we went to the farm uh, we had to take care of feeding uh, while my uncle was gone so we were up there for a couple days and just came back figured I'd get this recorded um, get it going and I'm sure it'll be late because it's about yeah, it's 5.30, so I have a half hour to get this done, which is not going to happen. Actually, I'm just going to do a timer for 10 minutes. And we'll just... Um, we'll make this one a little bit shorter. Just because I want to get it done out of the way get it uploaded for you guys the next video will be planting or no the next video will still be putting down anhydrous um, the attacher joint needs to be fixed on this but that's no big deal we have Sir here So this is the biggest of all the fields. This one will take the longest to do. Try not to take out uh, the tank tire. This tank is going to be empty pretty soon. Maybe it'll make it down to the end, I'm not sure. It'll be pretty close. This tractor is not perfect. Uh, the exhaust particle needs to be moved in and up, and then the attached joint needs to be moved in, in and down a little bit. I do know of a guy that used to have a version of this where he had individual work areas on all of these made it look really awesome but uh, actually the guy that made this he's working on a five section right now so maybe instead of a sprayer in the future um, just getting a five section in the future quite going to make it to the end. So we'll hop over here to the pickup and we'll take this tank up.
Start shutting all this stuff off. Get a screenshot when we switch tanks. Grab a screenshot then. So I'll grab this other tank and then um, I'll just pull off to the side here for now until we need to refill. Back up, hook on to this tank. Perfect. So let's try and back up a little bit more if possible. And yep, we just ruined the tires. Selected on the wrong thing. There we go. Now we're back in action. Clipping through the fence. I probably should have done a second pass, but I didn't. But yeah, so I think we're going to end the video here. The next video will be on a smaller field. We'll probably be over on field 13. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias, my mod site, and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. I'm going to get this thing edited and get it uploading, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.